Historic proportions. That's where the Jaguars' defense is right now. Really, you think of the 85 Bears or the 2000 Ravens as the two kind of benchmarks. Jaguars are statistically better than they are. And when you look at their statistics at number one in almost every category, it really explains why. The Jaguars are only giving up 14.1 points per game and 275 yards. They've got 40 sacks and 23 takeaways. They've recovered nine fumbles, and here's the big one, five defensive touchdowns. They're also only giving up 162 yards passing per game. They're the first team since the 85 Bears to allow fewer than 150 points and less than 2,800 yards in the first 10 games. They're the first team in the Super Bowl era to lead the NFL in scoring defense, total defense, takeaways, and sacks. That keeps up. They'll not only have a playoff run, they'll have a deep playoff run. And part of the thing that we've noticed about this particular um, this team, they're pretty tight. I mean, they talk about family and being brothers and sticking up for each other. And that applies for Thanksgiving, in fact, as they decided who would compete for who they consider to be the best chef in that locker room. It's probably going to be my uh, my five cheese mac and cheese. Um, I think it's, uh, it's world world known. I don't believe him. He ain't show nobody. You know, it's not a lot of people in this locker room. If they grill or cook or whatever, as soon as they make it, they're going to let people know. Everybody who tastes it, uh, speechless. Uh, that's probably going to be it's probably going to be the go-to side. I've heard a single thing from him, so I'm not believing that. <laughs> it's gouda. It's cheddar. There's a uh, pepper jack. Mozzarella. Look, Patrick Omame knows what Gouda and Gruyere is. Yes, he can probably make a five-cheese mac and cheese. 